Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Today on Suncoast FYI, we talk to mother and race director Stacy Monroe of the annual Andrew Monroe Memorial 5K, executive director Mary Benzel of the Van Wazel Performing Arts Hall, president and CEO Roxy Jurdy of the Community Foundation of Sarasota County, event chair Paul Kutlarczyk of the 7th Annual Santa's Cause, and marketing and development specialist Melissa Conway with the nonprofit Children's First. All next on Suncoast FYI. guest this week is mother and race director Stacy Monroe of the annual Andrew Monroe Memorial 5k race welcome back thank you nice to see you this, oh, this must be you. a bittersweet time for you it is but um, the yeah. race like I said last year has gotten me through and it's Continues. hard to believe a year's gone by already. I know I know tell our viewers who haven't met you before what what and who the race is for my name is Stacy Monroe, and I'm the mother of Andrew Monroe, who was killed in a car accident March 13th of 2011. And it uh, took me about a year and a half to get my wits together after the oh, gosh, yeah. tragic accident. And I decided uh, to do scholarships at Riverview. We had done them out of our pocket mm -hmm. um, for the first two years, but my husband was looking at me, are you going to take that money from our account every year? Yeah. So I had to become creative mm -hmm. and in a year and a half I decided to do a race event. And I put it together in six months. The first race had 300 some people. In 2014. In 2014. Right? Okay. And I've raised um, a considerable amount in those four years. Four years. Now the, the benefit who benefits from the funds that are raised say so. Riverview High School senior soccer athletes um, get every year from the race event uh, as long as the race is going they will continue to get scholarships um, I've also funded with that race funds a Sarasota Community Foundation scholarship mm -hmm. and this race will be the fifth race and it should generate the funds to complete that fund balance which means there will be a Sarasota Community Foundation scholarship the Andrew Monroe Memorial Scholarship oh. Fund at the Community Foundation available for Sarasota County athletes that's very exciting so yes this will be this is my entire goal cool. was to have a scholarship that will go on after I am gone yeah. and this way kids will constantly benefit Forever. and his name will never go away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So a um, lot more about the race. Um, where is it held so people can participate? There's still time to right. sign up, right? Yes. There, uh, the race discount, there's a discounted date and actually the shirt date. Mm -hmm. It's a cutoff is December 20th. Okay. So you can get a discount through then. And, af and it's at andrewmonroe.com. Mm -hmm. After December 20th, there's no longer shirts available, but you can register and the price is increased to 35. That's still. And you take, you can register online through January 4th. And when is the race held? January 7th on Siesta Key Beach. Okay. Um, we're at the Sea Turtle Pavilion. Uh, you can register that day as well. Mm -hmm. There are two packet pickups. One is at uh, Fit to Run on Friday, January 5, from 4 to 7. And the other one is Saturday, um, 9 to 1, at New Balance on Stickney Point Road. And packet pickup is you come in, you pr sort of pre-register, you pick up your goodie bag, you pick up your shirt, you get your bib for your race, and you're ready to go. All right. Well, backtracking just a little bit about uh, the scholarships. Uh, it's for the seniors at Riverview High. Yes. How do they apply for the scholarship, Stacy? The senior athletes, um, when Andrew passed, his coach um, wrote down a lot of, they, he read it at his mm -hmm. 
celebration of life. Basically, his characteristics um, that he genuinely carried and how he held himself. Mm -hmm. And he was like an older man in a young body. Mm -hmm. So those characteristics have been written down uh -huh. and they are an essay, a 500 word to a thousand word essay. That the students is, have to write. They write. Okay. And not necessarily have to know Andrew. They, sure. Th it's long past where mm -hmm. kids would probably know him. But they can write about their characteristics and how they emulate those. Okay. And they would send those to who? They send them to me. Okay. And but I write. do not select. Okay. I have a committee. One's in Ireland, a couple in New York. Couple, I have five or six, okay. depending on the year. Yeah. They review them by okay. email and rank them. Okay. And then I could generate the scholarships Wonderful. from those. All right, well, thank you. I know that you had over 300 participants and you want to keep it a community event, so. Thank you for all your hard work Thank and you. Uh, have a wonderful event this Thank year. Thank you. I am looking forward to it. Coming up next on Suncoast FYI, Mary Benzel talks with us about the Van Wazel's Christmas season, so please stay tuned. Executive Director Mary Benzel of the Van Wazel Performing Arts Hall returns to our studio to talk about the upcoming Christmas season. Hello, Mary. Hi. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Happy you know, we recently yeah. had Dave, uh, Dave Kaz's Christmas show, which was 20 years old, and he always starts it out by saying, I have the biggest Christmas tour, and I'm a Jew. So <laughs> it's all good. It's for right? everybody. It is. It is. Yes. And you've got a lot coming up. We do. We it's do. It's here. It's here. Christmas it's here. Season Christmas is, is here. here, and uh, we have 98 Degrees, which was one of yes. the famous boy bands. You've seen them everywhere. Yeah. They've been, you know, Nick Lachey was just on Dancing oh with gosh, the Stars. Yeah. His brother He's Drew. Fabulous. They were on the Thanksgiving Macy's Parade. So, yeah, that's that's coming up. We also have, for the little ones, and, and I, you know, I have kids that are coming at 10 or 12 Charlie Brown's Christmas which is a musical and before that we have Santa's luncheon and Santa will be making you know an appearance at the Van Wazel. Oh my gosh. And, and then we have hmm. a Christmas carol and we have two different nutcrackers. This is all before. All before Christmas. And, wow. and we also have Cirque Holidays, which is a fabulous show. We've had it before. It's, it's all the fantastic Cirque tricks they do, but everything is decked out in three to 300 to 400 costumes, singing. It's oh just spectacular. And then we bring in the New Year with a salute to Vienna, which is the New Year's tradition. So there's a lot going on. And we won't get into dates, but no. everybody can go to your website and find out because there's Absolutely. just so many things www.vanwazel.org. So. Okay. Now, obviously, like you're saying, you're a big Christmas fan. Oh my fan, gosh. <laughs> and I've been told by a little elf that you have a lot of nutcrackers in your home. Well, I, I can tell you I have over 20 nutcrackers personally, in my home, yes. personally. And then I, um, I decorate every room in my house. I'm having a big holiday party and every bathroom, every bedroom, everything, it it's, takes me five days. So, okay. oh And my. then it spills over to the Van Wazel. Well, I was just going to say, please tell me you decorated I there. I do. And okay. you know, when I got to Van Wazel, I'm on my 10th year anniversary, and when I got there, there wasn't a single wreath in the building. And so we've started every year, so we have nutcrackers this high. Of course, I extended my obsession to the <laughs> to the hall. We have nutcrackers everywhere, a beautiful mm. tree, and um, our, our box office manager so, does such a great job, so David come Walker. So just see everything. Yes, enjoy the enjoy season. Enjoy the season. Oh my gosh. Now, Continuing though after New Year's, can you yes. tell us a little bit about some of those? Sure, shows? we have. Well, we're uh, we have so many shows coming. We have um, Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. <sighs> yes, and I'm Peter Cetera. And people may not know the name, but Peter Cetera was the voice of Chicago the band. And earlier this year, we had a sellout show of mm -hmm. Chicago. Well, this is the voice of all those oh, fabulous I'm, songs. I have tickets. Do you? Oh, he, do. and he's Thank very you. dreamy yeah. to look at. I can tell you that. And then we have a Broadway show, Janice. A Night of Janis Joplin, Steve Solomon's coming. Um, we have John Pizzarelli and Ramsey Lewis doing a tribute to Nat King Cole. Renee Fleming's coming back. Mm -hmm. We have so many shows. In January, February, March, we have a show every day. Okay. <laughs> 
and you're there. I'm there 95% of the time, but you know, I have I travel sometimes because I'm I'm off to New York to book all the shows for the following year because I've already started with Lion King coming next year, oh and gosh. you know, so fabulous, fabulous, production. yeah. Yes. So we're 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 busy working on that. So okay. I'm always so running. in addition to shows, if people are looking for holiday mm -hmm. gifts, Christmas yes, gifts, absolutely. Do you have anything available? We do. We you obviously can buy tickets, and tickets make the best gifts, and and it's fantastic. But say you don't know what you know your aunt Clara wants to see right. you can buy a holiday gift certificate and then they can use that on any show they want okay. and they're good for you know whenever you want to use them okay and they can call or come into the box yeah office. and I need to remind people it's nine five three 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 six eight is our number but I need mm -hmm. to remind people that make sure you get tickets through our official website people go to these secondary websites pay a hundred times more than the ticket price yeah. And, and then they get mad at us, and it's not us. People, right. these robots, snatch the tickets, mm -hmm. and then they put them on sale for three, yeah. five hundred times yes. the price. Yes, so be sure, because I've looked too. Yeah. And you know, when you go to Google, there's so oh, many absolutely. down. absolutely. But look for the Vanuans. Look for the official. Yeah. That's the thing. On okay. all the websites that you look at, look for the word official. Okay. That's the key. Great. Thank you. Oh, you're Merry welcome. Christmas, Merry Christmas. Christmas Happy Hanukkah. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks, Mary. After a short break, we talk with the Community Foundation of Sarasota. Our next guest is President and CEO Roxy Jurdy of the Community Foundation of Sarasota County, and she's here to talk about the Season of Sharing campaign. It's really a pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, Thank this you. This is delightful. Nancy? Yes. Thank you. Um, can you tell our viewers about the Community Foundation and what is the basic structure of that, Roxy? Sure. Um, first of all, thank you for the opportunity oh, to be here and uh, share what the Community Foundation is about, but more important, season of sharing, particularly at this time of year when a lot of sharing is going on. Mm -hmm. um, the Community Foundation was founded in 1979, so we're almost 40 wow. years and, old. And how long have you been with them? I have been here six and a half years years so it'll be seven in March. Well you've done a lot in that period of time so go ahead I'm sorry. Well I have a great board <laughs> and team I always say all of us are smarter than one of us so mm. it's um, a great team um, but our foundation was founded by the Southwest Florida State Planning Council and this will ring true to many because of they know generous individuals here and many of them were doing their estate planning and they wanted to support this community leave a legacy into mm -hmm. perpetuity mm -hmm. and hence who was going to oversee these intentions how could that how could you be assured the best investment and return on your charitable dollars was mm -hmm. happening? Mm -hmm. So we were founded by this group because they worked with clients that were leaving millions of dollars they knew to our community. Fast forward to today and thanks to generous individuals we have over 1400 funds um, set up by individuals mm -hmm. and over $333 million in oh assets. Wow. So while that number is, we're quite proud of the generosity and um, people have trusted us to steward their legacies sure. and many people work with us while they're living mm -hmm. as well on their giving. But um, we granted out over $33 million last year. Amazing, amazing. Now I know you're, you're partner, partnering with the Herald Tribune this year. Can you tell us a little bit about that. This is the 18th year that the Herald Tribune oh. Media Group and the Community Foundation have partnered for Season of Sharing. Mm -hmm. And what is so marvelous about Season of Sharing, we have over 60 nonprofit partners in our four county region. And those partners are working with their clients as caseworkers, social workers, and they're identifying people who are on the verge of losing their homes. They may have one setback that may be a senior who, a couple, we have a story from our partners at Friendship Center mm -hmm. of a couple that the wife became ill, she needed to be, um, her appointments were up in Tampa at Moffitt, and their car broke down and the train you've got to get there yeah. and they were living on a very fixed income as we know many of our seniors are mm -hmm. so we were able to step in to help with a car repair that they just didn't have those reserves for so season of sharing was able to be tapped into for that the majority of what we fund is is rent oftentimes mm -hmm. but that allows families and individuals to stay mm -hmm. in their homes 
this community raised over $2 million last Amazing. year. And this year, we're so proud and thankful for the Patterson Foundation. Every time our community raises half a million dollars, they will contribute $100,000. Wow. So they have really helped motivate and spur people to give. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't all be that generous, and thank goodness that there are people like that. But you need, you need help from everybody because oh. it is about the community. And what is so marvelous, we, um, we, last year, 3,400 individuals were helped. Mm -hmm. And donations come from three, four dollars exactly. to thousands. Mm -hmm. We get three, four thousand contributions yeah. every year. Mm -hmm. So we believe everyone can make a difference Absolutely. in the lives of others. I saw that on your website, that there were over 63,000 people had had donated and correct me if that. And well, that was it. a giving challenge, but that uh, okay. season of sharing right. is great as well. And one of the key points that people love to give, none of us involved in this, 60 nonprofits, the Herald Tribune, our media partners like you, mm -hmm. the foundation take mm -hmm. a penny for administrative costs. So every dollar that's, you that's give wonderful. helps somebody stay in their home. Okay, well, how, how can our viewers donate to help you with the season of sharing? If you go to our website, mm -hmm. um, cfsarasota.org, you'll see season of sharing there. You can either do a credit card contribution, the information to send us a check is on there. How, and we get a lot of appreciated stock gifts. We can help facilitate that. Okay. People with IRAs that they can make contributions from Wonderful. those. So there are a multitude of ways that okay. And every dollar makes every a difference. Every dollar counts. It does. It all adds up. Yeah. Thank you, Roxy. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Coming up next on Suncoast FYI, we find out about the upcoming 7th Annual Santa's Cause event. So please stay tuned. Next in the studio is event chair Paul Kozlarczyk of the 7th Annual Santa's Claus and Marketing and Development Specialist Melissa Conway with Nonprofit Children's First. I'd like to welcome you both to the show and welcome you back because you have worked here at SNN with us before. So it's nice to see yes, you it's again. It's very different being in this seat uh -huh. rather than that. <laughs> well, you might give me some tips later. So first we're going to talk about your upcoming event, Santa's Claus. Mm -hmm. What is this all about, Paul? Well, we actually started this event um, seven years ago, mm -hmm. and what we do is amass this huge group of Santas. Everybody dresses up in full-blown Santa regalia, and we go out and hit the streets and have people take pictures with us and raise money for uh, Suncoast Charities for Children. Oh, and how did this start? I mean, whose idea was this, and how did you get people to participate with you? We needed to find a way to blow off some holiday steam, and and uh, what, what, what a great <laughs> way, to, way uh, right? to raise some money right. uh, at the same time. And uh, it just seems very fitting uh, that it be for a, uh, a children's charity at this time of year. So you came up with this idea. And how many Santas do you have now? All right now we've got 35 Santas. We've got a few elves. We've got a couple snowmen now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of evolved over the course of the years. And Melissa, can you tell us how Santa's Claus has impacted the Suncoast Charities uh, Children First? So the, to get a better understanding of exactly how events like these yes. benefit Suncoast Charities for Children and then benefit Children First, um, I could give you a little bit of background about great. our That'd organization. So Children First is the exclusive Head Start provider for Sarasota County. So um, one of the really interesting things about our organization that we're so proud of is that there are about 1,800 Head Start programs in the country and we're in the top 10 so Amazing. we're in the top 1% of programs so that's such a valuable asset to have here in our community we wouldn't be able to do it without the support of the community through events like this that benefit Suncoast Charities for Children mm -hmm. so we provide early childhood education and care nutritious meals and health services to about 600 of our county's most economically vulnerable children each year so we support the family, we support the child, and the reason that that's so important is because a lot of studies have shown that the brain develops the most in the first five years of life. Absolutely, that's so exactly, That's exactly the age group that we serve. So getting them on track 
from the beginning really gives them a head start, mm -hmm. no pun intended, <laughs> um, a head start in life to be successful when, yeah. they're, when they go into elementary school. So um, where Suncoast Charities for Children and events like Santa's Cause come into play yes. is that they actually raise money for us that enables us to be able to lease one of our sites. We have 13 sites across Sarasota County. One of them is in Venice. We lease it for one dollar a year. Oh my gosh! So how that's, generous of that. That's a very valuable, Donor. valuable asset for mm -hmm. us. So we are able to lease that from the Suncoast Foundation for Handicapped Children because of the funds raised from Suncoast Charities for Children's events like these. So thank you. <laughs> You're quite welcome. So how much can you give us an idea of, of the participation that that's involved in this, and how can somebody get involved if they want to? Well, it's interesting. Um, the um, city of Bradenton, um, downtown specifically, um, has embraced uh, this event. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, the old Main Street merchants have embraced this, and now we actually shut down Main Street in downtown Bradenton, put a live band out there, and you can come and watch the Santas walk around the street and take pictures with people. Uh, we carry black rubber boots around that people drop donations into. Um, and when and does the event take place? December 16th. Okay. So that's right around right the around the corner. corner. Yes, yes. And um, if somebody can't make it down there, how can our viewers donate in other ways? They can find um, online Suncoast Charities for Children, make a donation through the website, and they can just earmark it as for Santa's cause, or that's what prompted the donation. Okay. And how long have you been involved in this with them for the for This the is seven years. years. Yeah, this is seven years that we've been doing it. It's gotten... With Suncoast Charities. Correct. Yeah, Children's First. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both for being here. Have a wonderful event. Thank you very and, much. And, um, yes, thank Snow. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get hot in those Santa just, just cooler temperatures is all we need. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Suncoast FYI. We will return after a short break. Coming up this weekend on the Sun Coast, kids can see Santa Saturday in downtown Sarasota, starting at the Selby Five Points Park. Santa will appear in different downtown shops between 1 and 4 p.m. During this holiday season, check out the Sarasota's Trolley's famous Holiday Lights Tour. Seats can be reserved at sarasotatrolley.com. And kids can meet Santa's helper, Shark Jaws, at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. If you would like to promote your community event on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you. Just call us at 941-361-4639. To view previous episodes, go to snntv.com under programming. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.